Welcome back. November is here, so the holidays are coming soon. And for many of us, that means travel and an easy excuse to skip the exercise routine. Not so fast. Cody Butler is here from Heat Boot Camp. A few things to show you how to help keep the exercise going on the road and stay into your plan. If you've got the exercise routine and have gone to the trouble of getting your routine down, you don't want to blow it once you travel and go see family, right? That's right. With Thanksgiving and Christmas around the corner, it's the time that many Americans curb their exercise yeah. time in exchange for holiday parties, food, and family time. Okay, but you got a solution, right? I have a simple solution on how to keep you fit okay. while you can still enjoy all the holiday festivities. All right. So I don't know about your family, but when I go home, we like to play a lot of games. Yeah. We usually find ourselves around the card table playing a game of cards. So exactly. we've come up with a creative solution on how to get a great okay. workout in just using a simple deck of cards. Right. So let's go through this. What we're going to do, a deck of cards has 52 cards right. and four suits. Sure. So we're going to assign an exercise to each suit. Okay. So I've chosen for me, I'm going to do push-ups for hearts. I'm going to okay. do burpees for spades, squats for diamonds, and clubs are going to be jumping jacks. Okay. My jokers are going to be a one-minute rest, and aces are going to be one or 11. Your, your, cho your choice. Your choice. One or 11. Okay. So a big question when you're trying to get your workout in is how many reps should I do? Right. So we're going to make it easy. This I call this my, my pocket fitness professional. Sure. Yeah, okay? this is easy to do. So the cards will represent how many reps you do. So if I pull a two of hearts, I'm going to do pu two push-ups. Right. Okay? Okay. So I'm going to... I've kind of pre stacked, Have you stacked the deck? just a little bit. Okay. So okay. I suggest if you're playing this with your family, right. pass it on to someone else. So if you get a lot of cards back to back, you can just blame it on grandma. Sure. Right? Exactly. Okay? <laughs> so I'm going to take my cards, I'm going to put them down here on the ground, and I'm just going to simply pull the first one over, and I've got a three, three of, hearts. of hearts. So okay. I'm going to do three, three push, push ups, ups really quick, okay. and then I'm going to jump down to my next card. I'm going to pull it over. I've got a two of spades, so I'm going to do two burpees. Rest time between these is minimal, right? You it's just gonna keep be going. minimal. I'm just gonna go all the way through my deck. You're gonna go through 52 cards. I'm gonna go through 52 cards. Not today, though. Okay. I pulled my jack of clubs. I'm gonna jump into jumping right. jacks. Ten. Okay. Ten of those, and then oh. Joker it's got wild. my first break. Right, okay. That's my breast break. How long? Okay. You can choose. So the good thing about the card game is you can assign the drills to each suit right. that will be matching to your fitness level. Right, and you can switch them up too. It doesn't have to be the push-ups and the jumping jack. You can put maybe some lunges in or... Absolutely. You can throw in anything. And okay. I brought some extra pieces of workout equipment. Yeah, let's talk about this. Traveling, so, you know, checking the bags in the airport and everything else. Easy way to get around that, right? Got to travel light. So right. I've got my, my handy ball here yep. and my resistance band. You can get both of these pieces of equipment at any sporting goods storefront right. or 10 bucks. Right, sure. So they're pretty cheap. And there's hundreds of drills that you can do with these. And on our website at heatbootcamp.com, we put some additional drills on there that will match the exercise band and the ball. Okay. Perfect. And then you pack the mat as well, just in case? Pack the mat, or you can just use a towel or carpet surface if you're at your house. Right, right, so, right. Pretty simple. Some of the exercises you can do with the ball, and, and you can uh, integrate those into the cards, right? Absolutely. Okay. You pick your own exercise depending on how fit you are. Right. Put it into the card game. There you go. There you, you got go. your workout no already planned. Right? No you excuse. Can deal grandma in for blackjack. That's right. And take, all, <laughs> take all the money as well. All right. Hey, quickly, we're going to talk. I know we're going to have an extended piece in weeks to come. But another reason, you, once you travel, you can still stay on your your diet too, or I don't want to call it a diet, but your smart eating plan as well, right? You don't have to go gorge on this and that and and fill up for the holidays. Sure. You just need to be smart with your choices. Right. With a lot of travel, a lot of fast food restaurants seem to be the hit as yeah, you're going to right. and from. Just make sure you're picking places that offer. Um, healthy things such yeah. as salad, soup, light sandwiches, and always eat in moderation. Yep. And Holidays are yeah. all about letting go of the moderation, so we just have to, to hang on to that. Coming up, you're going to show us what the, uh, what in, in the next couple of weeks, what a Thanksgiving traditional We're going to look at a Thanksgiving meal, mm -hmm. all the calories involved, and how we can maybe <laughs> shave some of those calories off. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. All right, good to see you again. Good advice, too. Some easy ways, no excuse. And no excuse. Keep on it. All right, Cody, thank you. Come